Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, and this is the Lace Spirit Design Studio. So it is WonderCon Crunch. And at this point, I am once again doing the intro after I've edited the vlog and done all the things. So we are all packed up, we are ready to go. I'm literally just waiting for Ryan to get home so we can leave. But you haven't seen anything that I've done, and there's a lot of really fun things going on. So we are back in the Artist Alley for WonderCon. We are at table F36. Feel free to find us. This is the map. I'm close to the entrance if you're going from badge pickup, facing the wall like I have been the last couple of years. And I think I'm just kind of a few rows down. So really eager to see how the weekend goes. Not only is it Easter weekend, but there's also a bunch of other conventions going on, like really big conventions like around the country. And it's also supposed to be raining the entire time we're doing WonderCon. So I don't know what to expect. I've never done a convention during like a major holiday. And at least with SAC anime, of course you can't really compare anything to SAC anime. The rain doesn't keep people away, but it keeps them inside, which is good. So we'll see. It's also spring break, so that could, that could help. I don't know. But I've got an exclusive sticker that will be available, which you will see in this vlog. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the WonderCon Artist Alley vlog next week. So let's see how the week went. All right, so we've got the menu style boards up and these are perfect for the six foot table because I can fit more product on one board versus the, the pegs. I have to space them out. So this is going to be ideal for a smaller space. And I could probably just reuse this for an eight foot table too. I don't know. I mean, I made boards of the eight foot table size, so. Oh, that's why I can't do that. Oh, I just realized I put these upside down. They have to go the way that they are because this is the top of the window. And that's the bottom of the window. Dang it, I had a whole plan. Grr. Anyways, so I have to figure out how I'm going to fit stuff on the table, like my stickers and the sticker books and the periwinkles. They're gonna have to go in their little boy box instead of the shelf that they usually do because I didn't account for them. So now I have to get creative and I thought I was gonna have all this extra space right here, but nope, I have to put it the way that it's supposed to go.
Okay, I think, I think this is it. Though I do kind of want to see how it looks if I tilt things inward. I'll play with it. I'll see what Ryan thinks when he gets home, but I made everything fit. I did have to sacrifice all of the other Pride Deco stickers, but I may put a little sign on there that says, you know, ask about other flags. But everything else is out, and I think I'm just gonna roll with this, and that's gonna be the spot for the exclusive sticker, which is right here. I just need to cut them, but I made three sheets of these, so there's gonna be 36 at the show. So definitely be sure to come by and get them because that's all I'll have. And I may sell out just like at Anime. So it is packing day and I have to tear everything down and get it all loaded up, but I am really excited because I finally invested in the infamous Costco bins. So I always see artists using these bins and I thought that they were probably really expensive because they're really heavy duty, but I put off investing in them because Ryan's been begging for them for literally years. And I put off investing in them because I thought they were expensive and because they're not see-through, so I can't tell what's in them. But I happened to ask another artist how much they were and they were really inexpensive. They're like $8 a piece. And when I went to Costco to actually get them, they happened to be on sale. So they think they were like $7 a piece. I got four of them. I actually don't think that four of them would even fit in the Tesla. I think we can only fit two, three max, but these are as big as the big tote that I use at the base of the cart where most of my display stuff goes. So the fact that I'm gonna have basically multiples of these and they're gonna seal and they're gonna be more heavy duty is really great. But the fact remains that they're not see-through and it's gonna drive me insane if I have to like lift the lid every single time I need something out of there. So I was actually gifted the PRT Cutie label printer. I think that's how you say it. It's almost spelled like quiet, but it's not. Um, and it's a Bluetooth label printer. So this thing is teeny tiny, it's compact, it's a USB charge, and I just download an app and I can type in anything that I want and print it directly to the printer. And the best thing is, I'll show you how I use this, but I can adjust the size of these, of the text on there. So if I wanted to, you know, really utilize the space, I can do like two lines on each one. I'll show you, I'll show you when I do everything. But basically I can use this to better streamline my organization for the con stuff. I can organize the bins and I'll probably honestly go really insane organizing stuff in the studio because I had a label printer a couple years ago and it broke. I don't know if it just like, I don't know. It wouldn't accept new batteries or anything. So 
this came at the perfect time and there's a link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves so let's get to moving everything over from the existing bins into the new bins and start labeling That's all the display stuff with the exception of the boards, which are easily packed into those things that you saw. And uh, I use a bag, so that's all the display stuff. That's pretty exciting. bulged and it's not technically all of my inventory but periwinkles and sticker books are in here and all of my bags so this will get smaller as bags get used as periwinkles sell and I could probably put stuff back into this box on our way home but we saw the red box and the toolbox and the tripod bag which is behind me but pretty much everything fits in two totes we still have the things that I just listed, but I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with this. <sighs> okay, we are all done. We are all packed. I think I already said that at the beginning of the video. I already don't remember, but I'm just waiting for Ryan to get off of work and we're going to pack up the car and head down there. And if it's early enough, because it's Thursday, if it's early enough, we'll get in and get our badges and set up and I have some nachos to see about, which you guys will see in the next vlog. But again, we are going to be at F36 in the artist alley, facing the wall. Uh, you can't miss it. You know, we've got the big green awning on our booth and our little sign jetting out, and we may be the, one of the only ones with lights. And I'm so glad that we have lights because I just remembered how dark it is facing the wall. The lights are behind us, so it should be, it should be a good show. But again, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video, which will be the WonderCon Artist Alley vlog. And I hope to see you guys there this weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good
good run. Don't say we didn't.